Hey guys, Emily here at Threads Run Through It Gamble, and I wanted to share something with you today. I've been working on this great starburst quilt, and I ran into a couple of things that I get calls about sometimes, so I thought I would show you how I quilted this quilt. So we're gonna use a couple of different things. Um, we are using edge to edge, and we are gonna use alternating patterns and that creates a trim. So I wanna show you how to do that today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select a pattern, okay? And you'll notice here I have several patterns on my project tab, and I've got different ones. When I left click on them, they turn pink, and that's how I know they're selected. So I know that I wanna use this clamshell, but I've got other options here as well. I select my pattern, then I select edge to edge. So then I'm coming over here to my machine, a laser comes on automatically. So anytime a laser comes on while I'm using Creative Studio, I know it wants me to do something with the machine, okay? It's kind of like a, oh, I need to move the head. So I'm gonna follow my edge to edge prompts. On the screen it says, click upper left corner. And you'll notice I come out about a foot width maybe like a quarter inch up and over and then I'm gonna come straight down and then I'm gonna go all the way across and this is just setting up my edge to edge now on the setup tab it does ask me to enter quilt length so I'm gonna come over here where it says length and I'm gonna enter my quilt length so this quilt is about 64 inches long. So then I have this great little starburst pattern. It's a little tight for me, so I'm gonna spread it out a little bit by, by pushing the minus sign on the rows. Now, I don't really like how they're all lined up, so this is kind of where I wanted to really show you how I change things up with this pattern. So if we look at our setup tab over here, it asks us lots of things. So at the top, it's end of set, that's what we want. I entered my quilt length. I have my width and height, repeats and rows, and then in set repeats and rows, I have this word here, it says alternating. So I wanna click that drop down menu and I'm going to say plus row on top. And you'll notice a few things here on the screen that happened. Now my starbursts are alternating, kind of in a zigzag pattern. And then it also created this trim on the left and right sides. So if you look down, you'll kind of see where I'm going with this. See how this one sticks out? That's why it automatically creates that trim for you. That's why I love using alternating. So if I'm happy with this, I would say okay, but there's still a few little tweaks I'd like to do. So I'm gonna come down here to spacing and I wanna bring them together. These are meant to be nice and tight. So I'm gonna just click on my negative sign on vertical spacing and I'm just bringing them together and you'll see that it kind of adjusts for you automatically until it gets to where you like it you can come back up here play with your rows i wanted this to be pretty tight so right now i have it set the way i'd like it you'll notice my negative is negative seven or 0.7 i have 26 rows so this is some pretty intense quilting but if i love it i say okay now i would come over here and click start quilting and i'm ready to go and it's going to trim off for me on the left and right sides automatically. So that's a really great tool if you have an alternating pattern to choose alternating and it automatically trims for you. 